Question 19. The diagram shows the positions of three towns A, B, and C. We've got A, B, and C. I can see it's going to be a bearings question. The bearing of town B from town A is 53. So from A to B, so I start at A, and I'm going to B, that angle would be 53. And I can see I've got two parallel lines, so these angles would be co-interior to each other. So this angle would be 180, take away 53, so that's 127. The bearing of town C from town B is 108, so this angle is 108. So these two angles add up to make 235, and I've got angles around a point, so I can take it away from 360, which leaves me with 125. This missing angle is 125. AB is equal to 35, that's on, and BC is equal to 61, so that's on as well. I could also find this angle if I wanted to. That angle would be co-interior, so that one would be 72. Calculate AC. So we're trying to find the length of this. Because we've already gone through the question and we've put some more information on, it makes it a lot easier. So we, what rule could we use here? I can see I've got an two sides and an angle between it. That tells me I'm going to be using my cosine rule. Well, it's A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared, so just like Pythagoras, minus 2BC cos of A. I'm going to substitute all of this in, and I'll write it underneath the square root, so I don't forget that squared here. The square root of 35 squared plus 61 squared minus 2 lots of 35 multiplied by 61 cos of 125. Just type this into the calculator and you get your final answer. So A is equal to square root of 35 squared plus 61 squared minus 2 lots of 35 times by 61 cos of 125. That leaves me with 85.995. And if I wanted to round it, I could write it 86.00 to two decimal places.